Hello, welcome back to another cooking recipe. During lockdown 2020, I hope you can understand why we have chosen mango pickle as today's special. From this lockdown, I guess many have learned the value of farming for self-sustainable, and some may be feeling blessed to have edible trees and plants in own lands. So during this mango season, how can we sit blindly without plucking mangoes and preserving it in such a way that it will last till the next mango season? In this video, we will be sharing our all-time favorite mango pickle, which locally calls Vetita Manga Acha, which will go as a great condiment or side dish with any forms of cooked or steamed rice, rotis, parathas, upma, extra, etc. I hope it will be useful for some words and what. Let's start picking and plucking very firm unripe mangoes needed for the pickle. Here we are using around 40 numbers of medium sized mangoes. Soak these mangoes in water for 1 or 2 hours and then wash properly by removing the stems or bowls. Allow the water to drain off from it completely. To make sure there are no traces of water, you can even use a clean cotton cloth to rub the mangoes. Next, our main step is to cut the mangoes into pieces. Basically, Vetuga in local language. That's how it's got its name, Vetti Itta Manga Acha. So, watch how we are cutting the mangoes. The ideal raw mango is this type, green, firm, little matured seed. Slice and remove the top stem area little bit. And depending upon the size of your mango, cut each shell into half or quarters. Remove the seed from inside. Then remove the thin layer of skin from the seed pitch and clean the pitch with a cotton cloth like this. Cut the mango into pieces like this. Continue the process till you finish cutting the mangoes. Once you finish cutting, next step is drying them. Mm. 
Depending upon the weather in your place, decide the number of days needed for sun drying. Here we are keeping the mangoes under sun for 2 days. After two days of drying is run the sun, we got it in the record right form like this. Note that we just need the moisture kinda inside the mangoes to dry up like this. So please don't over dry them. Now our main ingredient is ready. And let's check what the other ingredients are. Let's start with the heating of 1 liter of sesame oil. Since we are using 15 gram of uh, raw hing chung, we need to fry it before powdering it. Mm -hmm. So we are adding it to the same oil to fry it. If you are using hing powder, you can avoid this step. Once your oil become hot, turn off your stove and allow it to cool under room temperature. Next what we actually needed is 50 gram of lit mustard seeds for 3 kg of sun dried mangoes. If you don't have split mustard seeds in your kitchen, you can prepare it from mustard seeds like this. In a hot pan, roast mustard seeds until it starts splatter pops. After removing it from the burner, crush the roasted mustard seeds with the bottom of a big spoon or with the bottom of the steel glass. Or with motor custom. Watch and see the videos to know how we are winnowing the muram churumo and discard the black skin of mustard seeds.
see our skinless mustard seeds are almost getting ready. Next we need to roast 20 grams of fenugreek seeds, 50 grams of green split moong dal, 50 grams of chana dal, 50 grams of chana dal. With the help of traditional amikalu or grinder, grind these roasted items to a powder form like this. including the fried raw hing chung. Now our all grinded powders are ready. Next, we need to heat 1 3 quarters or 2 cups of chili powder along with 1 spoon of turmeric powder for a few seconds. And allow it to cool under room temperature. Now I guess almost all ingredients are ready. Including 1 and a half cup of rock salt. 1 cup of garlic cloves with the skin. It's optional to use preservatives such as 1 spoon of potassium metabisulfate or potassium benzoate with water. Except the oil, mix all the prepared ingredients one by one with the dried mangoes. Then transfer is to glass bottles or ceramic pickle pots. After transferring the mixed items, please make sure that one fourth of the pickle bottle have empty space. Because if you fill the jar like us, it will be difficult to mix it in the coming days. Before pouring the oil, dip a clean cotton cloth in it and keep aside. Now let's add the remaining oils to the pickle jar but for better results make sure that the pickle mix will get soft well in the oil. Additionally you can even add vinegar also to it. Mix well. Before closing the jar keep the oil deep cloth above the pickle. This helps in retaining the oil condensed at the top and avoids the fungus formation. Then close your pickle jar or glass bottle. At least for 1 to 2 months, once in every 3 days, make sure that you are stirring or mixing this pickle mix. As days goes, the dried mangoes will be absorbing the oil and become soft. Mixing the pickle in uniform interval of time makes it soft and tender uniformly. Since we find it difficult to mix the full pickle jar, after one month we decided to shift it to small glass bottles and the jar. This is how it look after one month. 
After 2 to 3 months approximately, it will become more softer and tender in texture. If you carefully use it, it will last for 2 to 3 years. Believe me, it's super tasty also. If you are trying our recipes, please share a pic of it with us too. And comment your feedbacks. And don't forget to share the recipe link and the pickle to taste with your beloved ones. Thanks a lot for your support. Subscribe if you are not yet subscribed to our channel. And press the bell icon for getting notifications from us.